<laughs> Brinks, you gotta go up, dude. And bring your morbid chew thing with you. Come on, Brinks, lunchtime. <laughs> Alright, bye, Brinks. See ya. What are we doing? Building a shelf. New Blu-ray media shelves. Finally, I've got my whole life needing them and now I bought them. I hear these are kind of a pain in the ass to build. Got Blu-ray sitting around all over the basement here. This shelf is full of them. Obviously a very temporary shelf as the new ones will be going up against the wall over there. Join us. As we put this together. Yeah. Chainsaw just to get in here. Oh my good god. This looks like a major pain in the chungus. Better get to work. What I'm doing, babe. <laughs> you want to know if the camera can see itself in the mirror? That's not good. I'll have to edit that out later. Just kidding. Doesn't matter. We're not trying to make a motion picture here. This isn't the magic of filmmaking. This is a little weird. This board is higher, but on this part, the baseboard is higher. Um, I would say they just suck at cutting wood. Do you think they're bad at what they do? No. Here you go, babe, just for you. Stop. You ready to level up? Wow! Look at that! Sorry. Flimsy? Okay, now we put in this thing. Ah! 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 Oh, I'm getting it off. Alright, so it's a new day. Nancy's no longer here. Now, we must put, must put. these puppies on. Bruh. That's not tall enough for a Blu-ray. Good thing I tested that before I went any further. There you go, Jake. Alright, I am too inexperienced in building these shelves, but the second shelf, let's do a time lapse for the second one right now. Experiencing technical difficulties.
So to start it all off, we have my box sets and movie collections, Indiana Jones, Phantasm, Rocky, anything like that really. And then coming right after that is the Digi books and kind of just movies that have cool boxes. Like a lot of David Fincher's newest films have pretty nice packaging. I like to put those with the Digi books. After those comes the Steel books. You gotta keep those Steel books together. They look goofy on their own. They look beautiful all together, shining and glistening all with their different hard metal cases. After the Steel books. <clears throat> After the Steelbooks comes my MCU collection. I'm not the biggest giant mega fan of the Marvel films, but I think they are quite a feat in cinema. Some of them I really don't like very much, but I like most of them, I guess. Uh, these are in order of when they were released. The Disney films, and these are ordered in alphabetical order, and I will not buy a Disney movie without the slipcover because they look so goddamn good together with all those glistening covers on them. And then we have my anime collection, which isn't very large uh, now that I get to see it all together. I definitely need to up my game a little bit, but there it is. Of course, we have the Criterions. That's kind of, uh, kind of a big deal on my channel is my Criterion runs and Criterion hauls. I got a whole bunch of them, and I have them in order of uh, spine number. I don't do alphabetical. I don't do uh, by release date. I do it by when they came out on Criterion. And then after the Criterions, I have more specialty Blu-ray labels like Arrow, Shout, or, or Scream Factory, Blue Underground. I have some Vestron videos stuff things of that sort and then finally everything else that isn't included in any of the little sub genres I kind of made up is everything else in alphabetical order so we have random things all across here blu-ray 3ds blu-rays with slip covers blu-rays without slip covers 4k UHDs um, anything all just in alphabetical order so it's uh, pretty easy access to find any movie I want to so and on the top I'm just showcasing some of the collections or box sets that I'm proud of. The Donnie Darko one, the Hayao Miyazaki Japanese collection, Bond 50. I've always been a major Bond fan ever since I was a little kid. Just uh, kind of a random assortment of things. I might swap them out every now and then just to get a, a different look uh, from time to time. So that's essentially the way I have my Blu-rays uh, lined up right now. It's always a work in progress. Things are always susceptible to change. I'm always going to be getting more movies and I'll obviously need more shelving space. This is just where I'm at right now. I'm really happy to finally have them on display like this. They look amazing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun building these shelves and finally seeing everything come together. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button and like this video. And I will talk to all of you later.